This video is part of a new series I'm producing called Two Minute Travel Tips. Today, we're gonna to talk about traveling with medications. So, stick around. Hey there, Ralph Velasco of the Continental Drifter, where I share simple but powerful tips designed to make your travels easier and more interesting and your photography even better. Do me a favor and hit that like button right now while you're thinking about it, which really helps the channel a lot. So thanks for that. All right, let's do this. As we get older, we often need to take medications to maintain our health. My number one tip in this regard is to always travel with your medications in their original containers. Understandably, some of us like to have our medications portioned out in a weekly dispenser for ease of use, which makes complete sense, but always have the original containers with you. As a backup to the original containers, you should also have hard copies and e-versions of each prescription. Just in case you're questioned upon entry to a new place or you need to get a refill while traveling, Pharmacies are prevalent around the world and can often easily be recognized by their green neon signs, usually in the shape of crosses. Most of the staff at the pharmacies I visited around the world, from Portugal to Cambodia and India to Morocco, have spoken at least some English and it was easy enough to get my point across, especially if I had my prescriptions in their original containers and could just hand those over for a refill. Always carry with you at least 50% more medication than you think you might need. And this is just in case your trip gets extended for some reason. You certainly don't want to be running out of any important prescriptions, so to be safe, have more with you than you think you'll need, just in case of a flight change or if you decide to voluntarily extend your stay. At least you know you have enough medications with you. If there are certain cold medications or other over-the-counter products that work especially well for you, you may want to bring them with in unopened containers just for peace of mind as you may not find them over there. Finally, and it probably goes without saying, but an experienced pharmacist can offer a quick consultation on simple health issues should you need advice. Depending on the severity of the issue though, you probably shouldn't let this advice take the place of a doctor's. Question of the day. What's your best advice for traveling with medications? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this two minute travel tip. And if you did, please share it with others. And do let me know in the comments if you wanna see more like it and give it a big thumbs up. Next, Head on over to the continentaldrifter.co website for more interesting travel and photography tips and to get my latest download. Finally, be sure to join our community over on the Continental Drifter Facebook page and follow me on social media. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.